Is it just me? Or do you feel it too, that humanity is stumbling headlong into a new reality? <laughs> Let me back up a minute and explain. The message I'm about to share with you was originally channeled on June 25th, 2023. Why is that significant, you might be wondering? Well, here's where it gets really woo-woo weird, so I'll try to explain as best I can. It seems I went through some sort of a time lapse, and this message got temporarily lost, lost like vanished or disappeared, until I rediscovered it recently. I guess peculiar isn't surprising when you remember that it was early June when we shifted into 4D. Things were bound to be a bit jumbled and misplaced. Still, it's a surreal feeling to suddenly awaken, is that the right word, and discover this message bobbing up from where? A forgotten corner? Some last vestiges of 3D murkiness showing up to knock me out of kilter? Have you noticed any inexplicable weirdness happening in your life? Well, now that I've set the stage, let's dive into the message because Metatron's voice shall not be suppressed. The Great Shift now that you've entered 4D, it's an uphill climb. Getting your bearings. Sussing things out to discover what has changed and how. That's all part of the mystery and majesty of this new energetic state. Has everyone moved into 4D? Yes, it's all around and could not be avoided if you tried. Is everyone aware? Well, that's another story. Those who remain spiritually unconscious likely won't notice much, if anything, different. Yet, as the energies continue accelerating, even the unconscious will find it undeniable that something has happened, even if they haven't a clue what. No matter. Focus on your own journey and live each day to the fullest. Follow the urgings of your soul to experience all the gusto your precious life has to offer. What about Gaia? Has she also shifted into 4D? Well, that's a bit more complicated. Gaia's process is different from yours. She's still moving in that direction, but with some tremendous energy bursts yet to come before completion. Are you saying more seismic or climate events? Her process may manifest in that way. The process itself, once underway, must play out as necessary. We can see completion ahead, but the details are not clear because they are in flux. Many factors are at play. Know that the efforts of lightworkers have been a great comfort to her. Soothing and calming eased her distress, particularly at the most challenging surges. She is grateful for all the love administrations that have been and continue to be sent her way. It would be wise to continue your efforts, as once she completes her process, she will need a recovery period before her energy stores are replenished. That's an understatement. You may notice a period of recovery is required yourself. The ascension process has been in high gear for a prolonged period. As you come out the other side, you may find it necessary to exercise more self-care more rest, and introspection as you find your sea legs at this new altitude. Also, be warned that the Dark Ones will be in a frenzy as they see victory slipping from their fingers. They will redouble their efforts to mislead you down a dark garden path. In your temporarily weakened state, you will need to practice greater diligence so that you aren't fooled by their falsehoods. They are masters at trickery and shading the truth. You've come this far, but it's not time to relax your guard against the seeds of fear, doubt, and worry that have been liberally strewn across the planet to trip you up. Tune into your internal compass to discern what is true. You will know by the way it makes you feel. If it causes you to tilt towards fear, doubt, or worry, it's not of the light. Turn away and step back into faith, trust, and love. Echoes from the Past Yes. This is the same guidance we've been sharing all along, only now you've reached a higher level of responsibility to stay on course. There's less leeway to deviate from your path before unwanted consequences jump up to give you a black eye, metaphorically speaking, of course. 
you'll need to be more diligent about staying on course as you continue your ascension journey. Oh, did you think it was over once you reached 4D? <laughs> Hardly. You're eternal. It's never over. You're just getting better at being you. Yes, it may slow down at times, but the march is ever forward, as long as you're affiliated with the good ship spiritual expansion. Bon voyage. What's so freaky about this experience is that I feel like I've already shared this message. Parts of it were expressed during a live stream, but it's more than that. For weeks, I've been under the mistaken impression that I first became aware of the shift in July, until I rediscovered this message from June 25th. Surreal isn't a strong enough adjective. Anyway, I wanted to share these details with you because it's highly unlikely I'm the only one experiencing these mind-bending effects of the shift into 4D. Unless I am. Now there's a terrifying thought. 